Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Amen. Hello, my name is Angèle, and I'm continuing um, this series on the Ten Commandments. And now I'm at the Seventh Commandment, Thou shalt not steal. And I'm doing this examination of conscience from this booklet here, Deliverance Prayers for Use by the Laity. And in the back of this book of prayers for healing and deliverance uh, is a beautiful examination of conscience uh, covering the Ten Commandments. So these are the sins against the seventh commandment. Stealing, petty thefts, for example, taking things from one's place of employment to which one is not entitled, or taking money from a family member without his permission. Cheating, plagiarizing, breaking copyright regulations, for example, photocopying without permission, keeping bor borrowed or lost objects without making a reasonable attempt to restore the other's property, possession of ill-gotten goods, counseling or commanding someone to do injury to another person or to his goods, careless or malicious injury, to the property of others, concealment of fraud, theft or damage when in duty bound to give the information, tax evasion by not paying just taxes, business fraud, dishonesty in politics, business, etc., not paying just debts at scheduled time, and neglecting to make reasonable efforts and sacrifices in this matter, for example, by gradually laying up the amount required, not making reparation or compensation to someone suffering from unjust damages, forcing up prices by taking advantage of the ignorance or hardship of another, usury, lending money at high interest rates to someone in financial difficulty, Speculation in which one contrives to manipulate the price of goods artificially in order to gain an advantage to the detriment of others. Corruption in which one influences the judgment of those who must decide in legal manner, matters. Accepting bribes, appropriation and use for private purposes of the common goods of an enterprise work that is poorly done, paying unjust wages or defrauding an employee of due benefits, forgery of checks and invoices, writing checks knowing that there is not enough funds to cover them, excessive expenses and waste, not keeping promises or contract agreements if the commitments were morally just, it says there afterwards. Uh, gambling and betting, if they deprive someone of basic living needs for himself or others. Excessive, unnecessary waste of goods, resources, money, or funds. So here it brings to mind how careful I need to be. I have my Facebook page where I um, I Google a lot of pictures um, to accompany of the um, prayers that I share. And this is something that my husband had mentioned to me to make sure that there's no copyright regulations on these pictures. And I'm not always careful with this. And this is a resolution that I have um, to only use pictures that I know I'm allowed to share without permission or that I have the permission to share <laughs> um, for all my 
pictures on my YouTube videos, I take from Pixabay and other um, similar um, apps where I know the pictures don't have a copyright so that I'm not stealing um, pictures from someone. <laughs> and something else that came to mind, you know, wasting of goods. Um, I'm particularly aware um, not to waste food. Um, so many people are hungry in our world and I do my best not to be wasteful. Something that I wasn't always uh, conscious, conscious of and also wasteful of water, um, these things. Um, also, to keep something that was lent um, by saying, oh, they won't remember that I have it anyway, right? That's a kind of stealing as well. You know, if you have something that somebody gave you to lend to you, you have to be sure to give it back. It's different if you forget and then you find it and then, yeah, you do then, then give it back afterwards. But if you consciously keep something that was not meant to be yours. This is also a type of stealing. So we pray for the grace um, to follow this commandment and to live just lives by the grace of God. Always putting our trust in him and not in our own efforts. The more we surrender to God, to Jesus, the more he can do in our lives. The more we say, you take over, you take over, Lord. I can't do anything without you, truly. Without you, I can do nothing that is really good and just and holy. Let us trust in the Lord.